Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. I'm your host, VGM Corin, and in the last one we took down Storm Eagle and Flame Mammoth, and got my favorite weapon in the game, which we're going to use in the stage of Spark Mandrel, also known as the monster that haunted my nightmares as a child, because, well, look at him. He looks like he belongs at a rave, a really weird, bearded, goatee, flashy, purple and green lights rave. So, actually, I guess just a regular rave, then. As you can see immediately, Storm Eagle's airship crash-landed here and is going to change the stage in a way that isn't obnoxious at all. Or wait, will it be? Well, you'll find out in just a minute here, and yes, this is Flame Mammoth's weapon, my favorite weapon in the game, because it just deals so much damage. It takes out enemies in no time flat. It's very short range, but I honestly prefer my weapons like that. Now, there's a sub-tank over there, and we can't get it right now. I just wanted to show you where it was, because we're going to come back for that later. Now, normally when I'm playing, I won't actually collect all the power-ups. I'll just take whatever... Um, I'll take whatever I can get on my run-through and then run to the final boss with that, just because that feels... Mega Man X is a strange game about backtracking. It's not necessarily one that you want to backtrack a lot in, but the first few times you play it, it's gonna be inevitable because you don't know what's gonna go on. And hey, we got to what Storm Eagle does, which is make the lights of this stage randomly go out all the time. And then there are those guys, the giant fl shiny flashing guys that ram into your face and then hurt you and also kind of show you the path, so I guess it's a little bit like getting slapped. And here we're already at the mid-boss of the stage, and he's connecting and trying to get electricity. Fortunately for us, there's no electricity left, that's why the lights are off. And here's a great place to use Storm Eagle's powered up attack. Because, well, see, that's just, that's just sad, I'm sorry, you have to die. Your life was going to be miserable without being able to use your powers. I have done you a great kindness. And we're back on track to getting through the stage. I had so much trouble with the stage as a kid. Just the stage itself, not to mention the boss. But the stage, because of how much it blacks out, yeah, you end up jumping on things that you really shouldn't be jumping on. And even now, years later, I am still too impatient to just move when the light is there. I fell into so many bottomless pits. So, so many. Now you may be noticing I'm collecting energy, that's because I'm trying to fill my sub-tanks, which I'll show you another time. Hopefully, hopefully not this stage. Because that would be sad. It would be very, very sad. And now we have, um, this guy. He's not actually what I wanted to tell you about, but he was a turtle, so hooray for turtles. There's a health crystal up there, and you might be thinking, well, that's impossible to get. No, it's just another really annoying jump that I actually did much faster than when I did all my practice runs. That took me... Let's say it would have taken some editing. Um, yeah. That... So now you've seen b where both of the hidden parts in this stage are. There is no capsule in this stage, which can be sad. Uh, another great thing this Storm Eagle's power for is shooting through walls, because turtles... Turtles can be frustrating to deal with, otherwise. Basically, every weapon is kind of better than the X-Buster. I... I don't do X-Buster runs. Maybe I'm just weak. Maybe I am a little baby man not capable of doing anything without my special guns, but damn it, I like my special guns. And I don't like getting slapped by those stupid birds. And here we are at Spark Mandrill already. Now, this is one of the harder bosses in X, and I kind of want to show him off both how you would normally just die to him, which I'm going to do with the Mega Buster, and then how you can completely cheese him. And yes, he even raves a little bit in his boss intro. So Spark Mandrill flies at you with punches, and then basically kills you instantly. And that is what I experienced all throughout being a child. I did not get past Spark Mandrill until I was a little bit... Until I could do things other than be stupid. And, you know, that, that takes a few years to formulate. Now, the thing is, with Spark Mandrill, he is extremely weak to his special weapon. How weak? Well... That weak. Yep, it's a... 
You can just stun lock him. Uh, I... Ah, I, I feel bad about doing that. I'm not going to entirely... Well, apparently I'm going to miss. Let's just pretend... Let's pretend that I wasn't missing there. I was just trying to give him a chance. And I'm going to show off a little bit of how you would fight him with the X-Buster because... Oh god, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Get, get the Frost thing back out. No trying to be good. None for me. Okay. So, with that, Spark Mandrel goes down, and we're going to get another part as soon as Mega Man X stands very quietly and listens to his theme song. It's not awkward if you murder someone if you make a cheering face after it. Oh wait, yes it is. You get Electric Spark! This weapon is, um... Well, let's just say it's not my favorite. It's not all that useful, but it does have one purpose, and that's to take out Armored Armadillo, who we're just going to go fight right now, because why not? I can do what I want, and, you know, fighting bosses with their weaknesses is what I want to do. Okay, we're getting off this lane of thought. Armored Armadillo stage is... Another stage that, as a kid, it just destroyed me repeatedly. It's like, alright, so I'm just going to die, and that's going to be the end of it. Still, it's actually a really fun stage. It's just also... Ostrich. Ostrich, you just died. You can't come back. That's weird. I mean, I guess that would be a fascinating universe. If you could kill people and then look away, and if no one saw them, they could come back to life... That would not end well for anyone. But yeah, Armored Armadillo. This guy is interesting. Now, okay. First of all, we want him to come out. And this is another use of the fire gun. You see, as the game lags horribly, you just stand behind him and you end up killing him. Now, that's very important to do, because if you don't, well, first of all, if you don't land behind him, you don't get that sub-tank, and sub-tanks make the world go round. And you need it. And you also would miss other goodies. I'm, I'm not sure if the other goodies you would miss would be here, or... Oh, hey, hey, we can use our helmet upgrade. This is totally awesome and worth a helmet upgrade slot. Yeah! Later Mega Man X games were a lot better about... Don't shoot me. They were better about giving the helmet uh, better upgrades, but they were worse in other ways. I'll talk about that later. Right now, right now I'm going to kill all these bats in revenge. Oh no, bats. Oh god, more wheels. More wheels that, that turn over on their sides and die. Terrible fate. This is actually the best place, aside from the very end of the game, to farm up weapon er or not weapon energy, sub tanks. You shouldn't have to farm up weapon energy. If you have to farm weapon energy, you're doing it wrong. Just like that I just did there. I was... I'm leaving this area because then if I leave... I got hit by the minecart. Apparently I am terrible at video games now. Oh, extra life I want it! Extra lives also make the world go round because there you're just... I guess you could only come back to life then if you had an extra decapitated head from your corpse of a previous life. That's what I'm going with. Anyways, this section would actually be shorter if I hadn't... It would end right here if I hadn't jumped off the minecart. But I did. Now then, you might be wondering. I fell on it. I was trying to do something cool and then I fell on it. You just... You die. You get to die and we will not speak of this again. Now, obviously, if he gets through here and you don't kill him fast, you don't get the heart, which means that you don't get to feel awesome and great about yourself, which means that you're probably going to cry yourself to sleep. So don't do that. Don't do that at all. Now, I've always had trouble getting through this last area without taking damage. And slow motion! Everyone loves slow motion. Now, important thing. There is actually a secret back here, but it's such an awesome secret, I'm going to keep it secret. And I can't do it. I would have to redo the stage four times to get that secret, and that's all you get to know. Because it's a super secret, and only only awesome people get to know it. Um, 
I was going somewhere with that, I don't know where it was, but hey, look, um, Armored Armadillo. You shoot him, well, as you can see when he's spinning, he's vulnerable, until you make him naked! Now that he's naked, you can damage him all the time, because being naked means that all of your vitals are exposed. I always had issues, especially because you can kind of see it, like, he has nothing on his bottom, it's just pink, and like, even Mega Man has like, a little underwear deal going on, so... Well, we stripped him, and then we made him explode, so... yeah... It's okay though, because we have happy music to make us feel better about the events that just transpired. Or, or not. Or not at all. Alright, so Armored Armadillo goes down, and we get Rolling Shield, which makes you pink. Which is the primary reason I didn't use it as a kid. I know, I know, pink is a manly color, but when you're like 12 or 13, you're like, ew, pink! And, well, it was more like, ew, pink! Because my... You know, we're just gonna go to launch Octopus' stage and not pursue that line of thought, because... That would have gone a little bit weird. Launch Octopus! He has tentacles! And a really weird face. I hated this stage as a kid because- you wanna know why? Here, I'm gonna show you exactly why. Because after spending so much time getting used to using fire to solve all of my problems, it doesn't work underwater. <sighs> why- why in the Mega Man universe have they not made Super Fire yet? That's- that's all I want to know. Um, yeah! Here we have another stage. This one, once you're underwater, you don't have to breathe, thankfully, because, you know, you're a robot. But, Mega Man... Oh, wow, I'm taking lots of damage because I'm bad. No, don't hit me, seahorses! No! You can't see... Oh my god, so many seahorses. Why are they respawning? This is actually a fairly difficult stage. And, well, I guess they're all fairly difficult stages, except for Chill Penguin. But, you also have to fight this dude. What does this dude do? Well, um, he shoots things at you and he attempts to suck on you. Which is altogether not all that frightening, but... Well, we'll get to that when we get to that. No, I want that energy. Don't go away. Alright, so using tornadoes... Actually, I don't know if this is the most efficient way to kill them. Oh, it's not dead. Uh, is it dead now? Good god, man, please just die. Thank you. Okay, we're not going to use tornadoes on those guys anymore. They kind of serve as the mini-bosses of the mini-bosses in this stage, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Because, oh god, we're getting eaten by fish. No! <laughs> Note that they don't do damage to you. You just, you just get eat by the... And here it is. The reason why this stage will haunt your nightmares as a child is because he will attempt to suck on you, and no one wants him to. No one wants to get sucked off by a weird, angry-looking submarine. But as you might notice, there. Oh god! Oh god! No. Okay. It's better if you're getting sucked to just go into it instead of getting instead of going into the spikes. That is my life advice to you, and. That's what we're going with. And now, ride the water tornado to the sky. Or at least to this ship, where, you know, since I'm not going to get to use it anywhere else, I'm going to use all the fire here. Yay! The ship sinks, and... continues to sink, because if the bumblebee from the very beginning of the game taught us anything, it's that if we, you know, explode something and it goes down, we ride it all the way down. All right. Oh god, I forgot it made that weird noise. That's... Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I have to do t this to you, Sea Dragon. If, if I shoot you in the tail, will you Will you not? Oh god, you will. This is the mini-boss, and um... Well, um... Oh god, I fell. He might actually hurt me now. Unless... Wait, where are the spikes? Okay. That could have been very bad, actually. Falling on spikes is, as always, an instant kill in these kind of games, because despite the fact that you can take hundreds of bullets without flinching, if you fall on a single spike and stub your toe, then X is dead. Anyways, now that the thing that makes terrifying noises is dead, we can go get another heart! Yay, heart! 
Our life bar is actually getting fairly big by now. Um... Something else that sounds like a vague innuendo. Alright, back on track into the main part of the stage. Those... Uh, that's the only secret in this stage, actually. This stage is kind of just... You, there's no real reason to go back to it. It's one secret is hidden fairly well, but once you find it, it's done. Oh god, I'm actually getting hit by this thing. I am so bad. I am so bad. <laughs> this is an incredibly easy fight, and the fact that I'm taking damage is terrible. You know, as a kid, I never noticed how much the game actually slows down. Now that I'm older, I can see those things, but as a kid, I was just like, I'm wearing a sea dragon shooting in the back of the head. This is awesome. And other such sayings of joyful mirth, only possible by childish youth. Now I'm all jaded and like, man, these fish don't actually damage me. Man. All the things in this stage are either long sea dragons, or they try to suck you into them. Oh god, he actually hurt me. Well, oh, that! I am so happy I got that. I have... wow. <sighs> There are a variety of awesome ways to go through doors in this game. It's it's great. It's the best part about this game. Alright, so Launch Octopus. This guy is actually difficult even with his special weapon, unlike the last two bosses which we fought. Because, well, ow. As you can see, he, he does a lot of damage, and because he has such a lengthy and vulnerability period, you don't end up doing a lot of damage to him, and Rolling Shield, ow takes a lot of energy to use and can explode on his little fishies, and on his tornado. So he's actually probably the most challenging of the normal X-bosses, I would have to say. Uh, I'm gonna use a sub-tank. This is the menu screen, by the way. From it, you can do things like, um, you can do things like, there it is. Use the sub-tanks. Alright. Subtanks restore your HP when used and are refilled by grabbing HP when you are at full HP, so you have to it's kind of cool. You have to be good at, to be able to make mistakes. So, once again, just good design. Good design that rewards players by being good for make and allows them to make mistakes later. Because I would have died if I hadn't used that, but thankfully I've been doing fairly well so far. Now, the best thing about Launch Octopus is that he gives you another amazing weapon. And we're going to go into that after we cheer for his death and teleport away from his body. And never see him again. You get... Homing Torpedo! Turning Mega Man X a much more manly gray, you can shoot rockets out of your gun now. How cool is that? It's super cool. Alright, I think that's about going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we will go take on... Wait, I want to make sure I get this right, because it's really silly. We will go take on Boomer Kawanger. Boomer Kawanger. I hope to see you then.